JMS Free Music. With this video, I'd like to actually show some of what I've been discussing on my Twitter feed at JMS Three Music and also on the website JMS Three Music.com. And in particular, I want to focus on Angelicals. This is a very good, very excellent electronic and music sound bank from Applied Acoustic Systems, applied-acoustics.com. And this bank in particular is very heavily influenced by the music of Vangelis and one of my favorite composers, Jean-Michel Jarre. In fact, for electronic and music, really, especially if you, if you have one of them as uh, kind of your big source of inspiration, uh, you can't go wrong with this bank at all, period. So what I want to do with this video is show some of the presets that are in Angelicals and then play a short bit of one of the electronica pieces I've been working on recently, which very heavily makes use of Angelicals. So first of all, I have a Blank Reapers uh, a project here, so let's insert on a new track the AAS player. Now the Angelical sound bank can be used with uh, the AAS uh, synthesizer, the Ultra Analog, or it can also be used with the free AAS player, and I use it with the player. And the player is also useful because it comes with swatches. And just a side note, that has various presets from all of the sound banks um, that AAS has created or has released. Um, I have Starlight as well, but Angelicals is by far the one that I use the most. Angelicals has a number of arpeggios, bass, effects and leads, loops, pads, and also synths. And again, these are all primarily influenced by the music of Evangelist and Jean-Michel Jarre. And myself, I don't use the arpeggios very much at all, but uh, just to demo a couple of these, uh, Escapism. <laughs> Who's familiar, like I am, with the early works of Jean-Michel Jarre would certainly recognize Oxygen um, at the drop of a hat. And there's also two arpeggios that are based on his Oxygen series. I don't really use the arpeggios, but some of the bases I do find uh, do find useful. For example, uh, preset 22, cut off. Or a slow cut attack is a favorite of mine. Then there are various effects. Uh, these I don't use, to be honest, but uh, just for example, Gecko. Or Key Strike. Key Strike, I think, would sound really good as a Windows error sound, especially using some of the, some of the lower notes on a, on a piano keyboard. Then there are also various leads, um, and again, uh, some of these are inspired by Jar. Uh, Equinox Part Sank. Or Intro Sweep, uh, which is listed as a lead, I think would actually work better as a sound effect. At least that's how I've used it.
One of my favorites here amongst the leads is Melodia. And uh, there's also a, one, a lead here called Vangelis Lead. Loops I also don't use very much, but just to demo one of these, for example, chopper droning. <laughs> Personally, I find pads in general to be very useful, not just in electronica, but in other forms of music as well. I find that pads can lay a very good sonic base um, for the recipes to be built on, and they're also versatile in that the right pads can be used for uh, swells to provide a little more texture and variety to, to music, and this comes with a number of pads. Uh, so, for example, again, those who are familiar with uh, Jean-Michel Jarre are probably familiar with the Equinox series. Um, and there's two pads based on Equinox. the pads there's also one called Jaresque. And then there are various scents. Uh, not quite as many scents as I would have expected with uh, with a set of this nature, but nonetheless, uh, um, there's Equinox Part One. There is an electronic piano type synth here, E Piano Number Ninety Seven. One of my favorites, which is actually the the melody instrument for the piece that I'll demo in just a second, Seventh Heaven. So to give you a little bit of sense for how these can all fit together, uh, let me switch to my Star Drops piece that I currently have in progress. And with the exception of Vocaloid Miriam, um, which is on all of these green highlighted tracks here, with the exception of Vocaloid Miriam, all of the instrumentation, all of the sound effects in Star Drops are from AAS player and specifically from Angelicals. So just to give you a sense of how this can all sound together, let me play a little bit of the intro here.
So hopefully that provides a little bit of an idea of how angelicals can be used for electronica music. Um, and again, with this example, since we haven't gotten to the Vocaloid Miriam part, everything you just heard is entirely uh, from instruments that are in the angelical sound library. For anyone who uh, who makes electronic music, I really think you cannot go wrong with this sound bank, uh, especially at this price, uh, and especially if you're inspired like I am by Jean-Michel Jarre, you'll definitely find a lot in this uh, in this sound bank that is very useful um, for emulating his type of sound, his type of music. JMS Free Music